Hi, this is Casey Lai, CEO and founder of Prometheum, and today we're actually going to talk about three challenges that we have with visualization when it comes to analytics. The first problem that we have with visualization is there's always something better, there's always something newer out there, and being able to migrate data off of your legacy BI tool onto a new one is really, really painful because you do a lot of custom transformation and custom SQL building uh, in uh, your existing BI tool. And so there's things that you tune for performance, your semantic model, etc. So moving that off to a new one sometimes is very challenging. The second challenge that we have, and it's very, very common, is as an organization matures, they get they're going to buy different BI tools from different vendors. The challenge is they also buy different data sources, different databases, different data warehouses, different data lakes. And most of the time, not every single data source is connected to every single BI tool. And so this makes it very challenging because different data sources and different BI tools are always going to be used uh, in different times, which means you can get different versions of the truth. Okay? So we call this uh, challenge the BI data paradox and that BI tools exist, data exists, just not together at the same time. And so in order for you to make sure that you can actually leverage the BI tool of choice you want with the data you have, you either have to move data, do ETL, ELT, so try and move it to the data source that your preferred BI tool is connected to, or you try to connect everything, right, into uh, the BI tool you have, which could be tricky uh, sometimes uh, for us from a security perspective, from a performance perspective, IT may not want you to do that. So that, that's the, the second challenge that we deal with. And the third is that you still have complexity once, even if you can get all the data into your BI tool, okay? There's still a difficulty in, now you still have no context of the data, right? It's just tables, it's just you know SQL queries, it's just views and so forth. And so how do you know what to pick? How do you know why you need to pick that? And then secondly, you still have the challenge of trying to join data from different sources. So even though they've actually been loaded in, there's still work that you have to do to customize and transform the data. And so it's not easy or instant in terms of being able to just consume the data. Uh, and then third, there's uh, still a lot of many manual steps that you have to go through to actually get the final uh, visualization, right? You have to, depending on the tool you're using, you might have to build relationships, build joins, you know, figure out how to build explorers or merge views, etc. And so it's quite complex. And so we kind of look at these three problems, right? And just kind of recap for everyone again. You know, the, the first problem is how do you migrate off legacy API tools? The second is, you know, when you're trying to uh, ask, uh, answer a question where not all the data uh, is in one place. Uh, and then you have a further challenge where uh, not all the data is connected to all the BI tools, right? The BI data paradox, you know, what are you, you going to do, right? Are you going to deal with ETL, ELT, or go through the uh, manual process of connecting everything? And the third is even once you finally get all the data connected to your BI tool, it's still not a fast consumption process. So these are the three problems that we're going to talk about today. So let's talk about the first one uh, of being able to migrate. Why is that so hard? And I think um, if you look at this problem, the reason why it's so hard is because the uh, there's a lot of transformation that's done, right? Um, that is unique uh, and stored in the BI tool. And this is a problem not for just legacy BI vendors, but it's a problem for today's uh, existing BI vendors as well. And so. We're hearing a lot of people talk about this notion of headless BI, right? Meaning, doesn't matter what BI tool you go to, uh, you will still have um, all the you know business specific or industry specific uh, modeling, and semantic model, and transformations that you need. Um, oftentimes, people put this in their BI tool or they put this in their data warehouse. Uh, again, the problem with this is even if you put it in a data warehouse, if you change data warehouses. Psh, you're gonna to have to rebuild that all over again. And so this is why the notion of headless BI is actually so popular, right? Then the, the problem with data is like, it's not, you know, it's very difficult to connect data to all the different sources, very difficult to move all the data. And so we believe that there needs to be some way to abstract the complexity so that you can simply access and consume any data you want from any source from any BI tool, right? 
Um, and the third is how do you actually um, you know, virtualize or abstract the difficulty and complexity of being able to consume the data, right? Being able to understand the data, being able to assemble the data quickly and being able to very quickly um, answer the questions with the data. So these are, you know, we believe that in order to do that, you do need, uh, you know, layers of data virtualization uh, built in.